How is this for a roof? Is this supposed to be like, I kind of have an entire What the hell? Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we are in the Bay of Islands. Um, it's very windy, it's a little bit cold, but it's beautiful. And today we're going to look at the oldest building in New Zealand. So here we are in Russell, the former capital. This is uh, Jess Bell. Come on, Jess Bell, come to the camera. <laughs> a little bit different. No uh, building happening today, so you might want to skip to tomorrow's episode. But we're going to go look at the oldest house in New Zealand. How old is it, Jess? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? So we're going to go back on the uh, car ferry now and go over to Kerikeri Keri and Paihia. 1822. 18, 1822. So not that old for most people outside of New Zealand. Yeah. But old for us. Yeah, wow. 1822, that's pretty old. Alright, let's go. Hey buddy. How's it going? Not bothered. Life. Just enjoying that heat. So it's been a very chilled couple of days here. Long weekend. We went to the Flagstaff yesterday. And yeah, the list goes on. <laughs> so before we leave Russell, we're going to check out this church. It's apparently the grave of the first ever European woman to be born in New Zealand was here. Oh. But I'm not going to go through all of them. The last time I was here, we noticed there was a lot of graves of people who drowned. Really? I think they came here and they weren't really used to. Who's Timothy Wakan Nene? Chief of Napoli. First arrived on the Queen of Sovereignty in New Zealand. Look how crooked these weather balls are. It's pretty old. <laughs> Actual bullet holes. So that's it, that's the oldest surviving building in New Zealand. And our buildings still kind of look like that. Old weatherboards, timber joinery. I think this was the outhouse. Broken propeller. Ugh. So I was trying to get a cool shot of the stone house over there and the mission house. And basically the compass just stopped working and it just went haywire and I tried to land it and it hit the trees. These things happen. Alright, back in Auckland. As soon as I crashed the drone. We just decided to come home. I managed to get a propeller back on it. I don't know if I can fly it anywhere because of the wind, but let's see if it actually works. It worked! I'm not flying in this wind, but it works. All right, see you tomorrow for some proper carpentry.